पहले फोर्टीन से पहले कांग्रेस कैसा था आगे कैसे रहने वाले वॉट इज क्वेश्चन मोदी आठ साल से ये पूरा कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल स्ट्रक्चर को डिमोलिश कर रहा है हाँ वो दो वो उसके बारे में आपका विचार क्या है दूसरा ये आठ साल से उनके दो दोस्तों के लिए देश को लूट कर बांट रहा है उसके बारे में कांग्रेस का राय क्या है आगे आप ये पूरा सिस्टम को सुधारने के लिए आर अदरवाइज आप क्या करना चाह रहे हैं वॉट इज अप्रोच बिफोर टू कांग्रेस कैसे थे अभी आगे कैसे ले जाने वाले first of all i uh, like to welcome all of you here um, thank you very much for coming thank you for giving me your time uh, with regards to the question a uh, lot of damage has been done to the institutional framework uh, of our country uh, there has been a systematic attack on different institutions you in the press Uh, understand very well how the press is controlled pressurized threatened many many friends of uh, you know many journalists have walked with me and they have been telling me uh, while they've been walking in telangana exactly what is done not just by the way at the national level but also at the uh, local level here uh, and the media is not the only institution that is under attack the judiciary is under attack uh bureaucracy is under attack uh, and this is extremely damaging to the country so of course uh, when the congress party comes back to power we are going to make sure that these institutions are once again freed from the grasp of uh, the rss and a certain independence is maintained in these institutions that is our record and that is something we will do very very aggressively um, with regards to the massive concentration of capital if you look at what is happening to small and medium businesses in this country what is happening to the job creation structure of this country uh, essentially it is being destroyed and today india is unable to uh, produce jobs huge part of the reason why this is happening is because there is massive concentration of power crony capitalism which the government is doing both governments again the bjp government at the center and uh, trs government here in andhra pradesh favoring two or three business people and eliminating other competition and creating monopoly in industry after industry after industry and this is one it's very bad because such concentration is bad but two it's bad because huge amount of potential of indian companies small and medium companies even companies who are not crony capitalists their potential is being wiped out so we will definitely ensure that the environment business environment is fair and money is not concentrated the way it is being concentrated Oh, sorry, I made a slip up. TRS government in Telangana. Yeah, Narsingh Garu. Please take the mic. Hi, sir. Good afternoon. I am Narsingh Rao, a Bengal Andhra Jyoti. Meeru Telangana lo pada yatra madal betin tarvata. Pede yatna me pai na ikkada adhikaram lo unna twenty party vimarshal chesta ondi. Vokati Rahul chestu unna twenty yatra prajala kosanga adu fitness kosaman jepi. రెండు రాహుల్ గాంధీ చేయాల్సింది కాంగ్రెస్ నేతల జోడో యాత్ర భారత్ జోడో యాత్ర కాదని గుజరాత్లో ఎందుకు పాదయాత్ర చేయడం లేదా అనేటువంటిది విమర్శలు చేస్తూ ఉన్నారు ఈ విమర్శల పైన మీరు ఇచ్చేటువంటి సమాధానం ఏంటి మరొకటి మీ యాత్ర ఎంటర్ అయిన తర్వాత ఇక్కడ ఎమ్మెల్యేల కొనుగోలు వ్యవహారం సంచలనంగా మారింది ఈ వ్యవహారాన్ని మీరు ఎట్లా చూస్తారు भैया अगर फिटनेस डेवलप करना होता है तो जिम इज मच मोर इफेक्टिव मीडियम देन वॉकिंग अक्रॉस द कंट्री प्लीज 
So uh, there is this the idea of the Bharat Jodo Yatra, as I have stated again and again, is to fight the hatred, the anger that the BJP is spreading across the country. The reason we are fighting it is because this hatred and this anger that is being spread is weakening the country. Uh, we are walking 3,500 kilometers across the country and we are inviting people who believe in the idea of Bharat Jodo and they are joining us by the lakhs. Right? So this is a very powerful way of demonstrating the feeling that India has inside. India does not believe in this hatred and this violence that the BJP is spreading. Thank you. <clears throat> Please Bharat, keep the question. Oh. Sir, so he's sorry. The questions are there. See, I mean, let's. He's asked four questions. So you just take the question take on uh, why not Congress Jodo, why Bharat Jodo? He's sounding a lot like a BJP spokesman. <laughs> you know, you're doing it for fitness. Why are you not going here? Look, the route is from Kanya Kumari to Kashmir, right? We cannot do a yatra that goes to every state in the country. So we have taken a uh, decision that we are going to take a route and we are covering as many states as we possibly can. Um, and once again, the idea of the yatra is to send a message to the people of India that we are not going to stand for the hatred and the violence that the BJP is spreading. We are not going to accept the type of economic model that the BJP is running. We are not going to accept the capture of the institutional framework that the BJP is doing. In case you have not seen, there are many, many Congress people coming. There are many, many non-Congress people coming. And let me inform you, there are also workers of other parties coming. Okay, please keep your questions short. No four questions again. Only one question. Yeah, Kalyan. One question, please. And short. Good afternoon, sir. OBC la census to some mention, I'm shown Dirga Kalikanga pending loan. The Rondavela Padnalo air partition, UP, Prabutanguda Dini, Putisa la Parishkaran Chilekapo in the Virapa committee, Virapomili committee, Vesharu, then some mention where the Kudra Ledu. Udaipur declaration la Guda, Dinipinus Pastatale, and Nibis Sangala Ropis tonight. Dinimism is some other night. Um, as far as the OBC reservation, OBC uh, census is concerned, it is the Congress party who came out with the idea, did the census. Uh, myself, I am very, very clear. I have no, uh, absolutely uh, no question in my mind. The OBC census needs to be made public. People need to understand the makeup of India's uh, population. Okay. Incidentally, it was the Congress government that carried out the caste, socio-economic caste census in 2011. Ashok from TV9. Good afternoon, sir. Telangana is in the Congress party, but Telangana has success in the Congress party. And me, Telangana Congress law internal politics. Chala Salamiru, Kauze, Sir, Ainagani, Pratisari, Godol, Autunayontai. So, Danik Samaninchi, Mirevana, precautions is Kutunara. Deki Hamarijo party hai. Wo Democratic party hai. हमारी पार्टी डिक्टेटरशिप नहीं चलाती है आपने देखा आ, कुछ ही दिन पहले कांग्रेस पार्टी में चुनाव हुआ और डेमोक्रेटिकली हमने 
अपने नए प्रेसिडेंट को इलेक्ट किया तो ये हमारा हमारा डीएनए है कि हम डिक्टेटरशिप नहीं चलाते हैं तो थोड़ा थोड़ा डिस्कशन हमारी पार्टी में नेचुरल है मगर जो हमारे लीडर्स हैं वो सब एक साथ लड़ेंगे मिलके लड़ेंगे और कांग्रेस पार्टी चुनाव जीतेगी हैव नो डाउट अबाउट दैट चारी फ्रॉम एन टी वी ऑल्सो आई लाइक टू ऑल्सो आई लाइक टू आस्क अ क्वेश्चन Of course, the Congress Party has demonstrated that it is a democratic party by electing our president, and we have had an election across the country. I'm wondering when other political parties are going to do this. I'm wondering when the RSS and BJP are going to have an election, when the TRS is going to have an election. This is just a question I have in my mind, and it's interesting to me that the press always asks about. the congress party and about elections and democracy in the congress party but never ever dares to ask about democracy in the trs or democracy in the rss or democracy in the bjp chari sir ani chari sir ntv meer aidu rojula paryatan lo prati chota oka amshanni cheptunaru trs bjp rendu okate ani cheppesi prasthutam telangana lo trs bjp rendu రాజకీయ ఘర్షణకు తెరదీస్తున్నాయి రీసెంట్ గా బీజేపీకి సంబంధించిన బీజేపీకి సంబంధించినటువంటి కొంతమంది టీఆర్ఎస్ ఎమ్మెల్యేలను కొనుగోలు చేశారు దీనికి సంబంధించినటువంటి కేసులు కూడా నమోదయ్యాయి వీటిని ఎట్లా చూస్తారు రెండు కాంగ్రెస్ లో అంతర్గత ప్రజాస్వామ్యమే కాంగ్రెస్ కి కొంపముచ్చుతుంది అనేది ప్రధానమైనటువంటి ఆరోపణ స్వేచ్ఛ ఉండడం మంచిదే గానీ అతి ఎక్కువ కావడం వల్ల నాయకుల మధ్య ఘర్షణ కూడా కారణమవుతుంది no uh, the fact that both these parties are spending hundreds of crores of rupees uh, the question needs to be asked where is this money coming from obviously this money is coming from corruption and this money is being distributed blatantly without any regard for any rule or anything like that so it shows the similarity of the two structures it shows that both these parties steal public money and then use this public money to influence elections okay shrinivas rao from tv5 i am going to be now extremely have to we have to fast forward please keep your question short namaste sir na peru shrinivas tv5 okati see deshamlo congress pan ayipindi anduke desha prajalanta kuda trs vaipu chustunnaru anduke kcr brs peru tho national party airport anedi okati టిఆర్ఎస్ పార్టీ నాయకులు చెప్తా ఉన్నారు అలాగే కాంగ్రెస్ వచ్చే ఎన్నికల్లో ఒంటరిగానే పోరాటం ఎన్నికల్లో పోతుందని మీరు వరంగల్ సభలో చెప్పారు అయినప్పటికీ కూడా భవిష్యత్తులో నేషనల్ పార్టీకి రీజనల్ పార్టీతో అవసరం ఉంటుంది కాబట్టి టీఆర్ఎస్తో పొత్తుపోయే అవకాశం ఉందని మీ రాష్ట్ర నాయకులు కొంతమందిలో చర్చ జరుగుంది there is absolutely no question of the congress uh, having any relationship with the trs i have you know the congress party has made this very clear uh, this confusion is created by the trs themselves uh, there's i'll repeat it clearly there's absolutely no question of any relationship between the uh, trs and the congress number 2 any leader has the right to imagine his party in whatever way he wants if the chief minister of telangana believes that he is running a national party that's perfectly okay there's no problem he can believe it if he believes that he's running a global party that's also acceptable that's also fine so these are all things that he can do and he can imagine he is welcome to think that no i am running a international party 
one that is also fighting elections in the United States and fighting in China and other countries. Good, no problem. We are perfectly happy to accept it. Thank you. Siyasat se Riyasa. Sorry, the, the, the last point about the opposition. Um, the fight in India today is between two ideologies. Uh, one ideology that is seeking to divide the nation, spread violence in the nation, and the other, other ideology that is bringing the nation together. And the line is very, very clear. I feel and the Congress party feels that it is very important that the opposition works together harmoniously to defeat the ideology of the RSS in the BJP. Aji, siyasat se Riyasa. Mohammad Riyaz Ahmed, Siyasat Urdu Daily. Sir, my question is that कि मैं भारत जोड़ो यात्रा के बारे में बात करूंगा भारत जोड़ो यात्रा के जरिए आप क्या समझते हैं कि आप कम्युनल एजेंडा और नफरत तोड़ने में कामयाब रहे और दूसरी एक अहम बात यह है कि क्या आपने जो दौरा किया है अब तक उसमें जो आम के मसाइल है इश्यूज हैं वो उनमें सिमिलैरिटीज क्या देखे हैं आपने वो हम जानना चाहेंगे देखिए भारत जोड़ो यात्रा एक विचारधारा है और एक सिंबल है और जो बीजेपी की विचारधारा है उसके खिलाफ क्लैरिटी से एक दूसरी विचारधारा रखने का तरीका है रास्ता लंबा है बीजेपी से लड़ना जो इंस्टीट्यूशनल कैप्चर इन्होंने किया है उससे लड़ना दो मिनट का काम नहीं है मगर भारत जोड़ो यात्रा एक बहुत अच्छा कदम है मुंसिफ से बशीरुद्दीन जी <coughs> बशीरुद्दीन जी बोलिए मेरा सवाल यह है कि यह भारत जोड़ो यात्रा का जो फैसला है आपका खुद का है या पार्टी का है दूसरी बात यह है कि इससे क्या पार्टी को क्या फायदा होगा क्या दोबारा इतार में कांग्रेस वापस आएंगी देखिए किसका आइडिया था जनरल डिस्कशन चल रहा था बहुत साल पहले आ, मैं यात्रा करना चाहता था बट उस टाइम कोविड आ गया फिर थोड़ा आ, यात्रा करना मतलब मुश्किल हो गया तो फिर हमने उसको आ, एक तरीके से पोस्टपोन कर दिया था और फिर मेरे माइंड में था कि मैं पर्सनली हिंदुस्तान में पैदल चलना चाहता था और मेरे माइंड में था और फिर कांग्रेस पार्टी के भी दो तीन लोगों ने यह सुझाव दिया तो अब मेरे माइंड में पहले आया या उनके माइंड में पहले आया मालूम नहीं आप ही के माइंड में पहले आया राहुल जी एक्चुअली सच बोलूं तो पहली बार जब मैंने यह सोचा था मैं 25 25 छब्बीस साल का था उस टाइम उस टाइम में पॉलिटिक्स में भी नहीं था बट उस टाइम में नहीं कर पाया तो मैंने सोचा कि अंदर अंदर ये डिजायर तो था और मुझे काफी अच्छा लग रहा है मेरे लिए ये जरूर ये बीजेपी से आरएसएस से लड़ने का तरीका है राजनीतिक तरीका है और उससे कांग्रेस पार्टी को फायदा होगा मगर मेरे लिए ये पर्सनल जर्नी भी है तो मुझे बहुत सीखने को मिल रहा है आ, हिंदुस्तान के बारे में काफी समझने को मिल रहा है आ, जो तेलंगाना की आपने बात कही तेलंगाना में कांग्रेस पार्टी चुनाव जीतेगी हम मिलके लड़ेंगे एक साथ लड़ेंगे और जो हमारा हमारा जो फाउंडेशनल आइडिया है विचारधारा है उसको डिफेंड करने के लिए लड़ेंगे मैं अभी हिंदी मीडिया से सवाल लूंगा जयनेंद्र संक्षिप्त में पूछेगा प्लीज 
समय का बहुत अभाव ठीक है ठीक है राहुल जी आप कहते हैं कि टीआरएस के साथ कोई गठबंधन नहीं होगा लेकिन आपके ही कुछ सहयोगी जैसे नीतीश कुमार है जिनके साथ आप बिहार में सरकार चला रहे हैं वो स्वागत करते हैं जब के पटना जाते हैं और एक राष्ट्रीय फ्रंट बनाने की बातें होती हैं जिसमें कि वो मुख्यमंत्री शामिल होते हैं जिनकी सरकार में आप शामिल हैं तो ये फिर आप कहते हो कि टीआरएस कंफ्यूजन फैला रही है क्या इन चीजों से कंफ्यूजन नहीं फैलता और राहुल जी सवाल कंक्लूड कर लूं कि क्या भविष्य में 2024 में आप कहते हो कि तेलंगाना में कोई समझौता टीआरएस से नहीं होगा क्या 24 में नौबत आएगी तो भी कांग्रेस टीआरएस के साथ कतई हाथ नहीं मिलाएगी किसी भी सूरत में देखिए सबसे पहले ये मैं नहीं कहता हूं ये तेलंगाना की जो लीडरशिप है कंबाइंड लीडरशिप है वो कहती है जो वो कह रहे हैं उसको कांग्रेस पार्टी एक्सेप्ट करती है और उस बेसिस पे एक्शन लेती है नीतीश जी अगर ये टीआरएस से बातचीत करना चाहते हैं तो दैट इज हिज कंसर्न दैट इज हिज डिजायर एंड ही इज वेलकम टू डू इट बट फॉर अस हमारे लिए तेलंगाना में वी आर वेरी क्लियर वी कैनॉट स्टैंड with the corruption the approach and the attitude of the trs the trs is looting the people of telangana it is snatching land away from dalits from tribals it is destroying the uh, education system it is privatizing the education system uh, we are diametrically opposed to everything they are doing ah rajat संक्षिप्त में प्लीज में सर राहुल जी कल जो जानकारी हमको जैसी मिली है कि कल जो ये यात्रा है शाम को चार मीनार के पास रहेगी वैसी साहब रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं उस लोकसभा को लोकसभा में भी आपके साथ ही हैं कुछ लोग कहते हैं वो बीजेपी की बी टीम है वो आपका भी विरोध करते हैं बीजेपी का विरोध करते हैं गुजरात में भी चुनाव रखते हैं सवाल कीजिए राजनीतिक रूप से कैसे देखते हैं आप देखिए जब राजीव गांधी जी ने सद्भावना यात्रा की थी चार मीनार से उन्होंने शुरू की थी दैट इज द लॉजिक दैट वी आर फॉलोइंग हाँ जी अब्दुल जी सर ये uh, कल के इंसिडेंट में मोरबी केबल ब्रिज इंसिडेंट में 134 लोग की मृत्यु के कौन जिम्मेदार है आप किसको जिम्मेदार ठहराते हैं गुजरात में जो इंसिडेंट हुआ उसको आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू पोलिटिसाइज दिस इंसिडेंट पीपल है it is disrespectful for them to politicize this incident so i am not going to do it ha ji vikrant ji i have answered you clearly vikrant ji i am not going to politicize it ha ji vikrant rahul ji ek aapki yatra chal rahi hai charcha ka vishay hai lekin jo opposition hai chahe wo aam aadmi party ho ya bhartiya janata party ho lagatar ye baat keh rahe hain ki gujarat mein 27 saalon se congress nahi hai mauka humko de do ye aap aap keh rahi hai aur bhajpa keh rahi hai ki rahul gandhi wahan hai kyunki unko lagta nahi hai ki yahan jeet payenge तो गुजरात चुनाव को लेकर आपकी राजनीतिक स्थिति क्या है आपकी पार्टी की स्थिति क्या है गुजरात चुनाव में गुजरात चुनाव में कांग्रेस पार्टी बहुत इफेक्टिवली लड़ रही है और गुजरात चुनाव को कांग्रेस पार्टी गुजरात में जीतेगी बहुत भारी एंटी इनकम्बेंसी है और जो आम आदमी पार्टी का है पूरा हवा में है ग्राउंड पे कुछ नहीं है आप मीडिया का मतलब वहां से वो फंडिंग करते हैं दिल्ली से एडवर्टाइजिंग करते हैं तो हवा बना रखा है बट कांग्रेस पार्टी इज ए सॉलिड पार्टी इन गुजरात कांग्रेस पार्टी इज गोइंग टू विन द इलेक्शन दे हाँ जी नहीं नहीं सप्लीमेंट्री नहीं प्लीज हाँ अरुण पिछले कुछ विधानसभा चुनाव में आप कर्नाटक की बात करिए आप गुजरात की बात करिए दोनों जगह पर बहुत इफेक्टिव आपने कैंपेन किया एक ही क्वेश्चन नहीं अरुण एक ही क्वेश्चन प्लीज एक ही एक ही सवाल वो जब हम जब हम मैं पिछली बार गया गुजरात में तो आपने कहा था इस बार वो जो तैयारी पिछली बार थी वो दिख नहीं रही है ये आपने कहा था उस टाइम इस इस टाइम तो हो नहीं रहा है कुछ और फिर चुनाव के बाद कहा भैया ये क्या हो गया तो मैं आपके जो आपके जो सवाल है मैं आपको रिमाइंड कर रहा हूं देखिए भारत जोड़ो यात्रा चल रहा है इसमें आ, हम एक मैसेज देने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं और हम इस मैसेज से डिस्ट्रैक्ट नहीं होना चाहते हैं मगर गुजरात का चुनाव हिमाचल के चुनाव के बारे में हमारा डिस्कशन चलेगा खारगे जी इज द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द पार्टी ही विल डिसाइड 
हाउ आई एम टू बी यूटिलाइज ये हिंदी मीडिया के सवाल हो चुके हैं मैं अभी अंग्रेजी के सवाल लूंगा आखिर में तीन सवाल हैं रविकांत आफ्टरनून सर आई एम रविकांत रेड्डी फ्रॉम द हिंदू न्यूज पेपर सर इन रेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ व्हाट द पार्टी सेज पीपल परसीव दिस यात्रा एज अ पॉलिटिकल यात्रा इन अ सेंस सो इन दैट सेंस आफ्टर फिनिशिंग द यात्रा एट द एंड ऑफ द यात्रा वेर डू यू सी योर सेल्फ एज अ पोलिटिशियन इन द कंट्री बट आई जस्ट वॉन्ट आज क्यू सो i mean obviously it is a political action this is not a sports yatra or you know uh, this is of course it is a political action and it is a political action against the way the bjp and the rss are dividing the country and damaging the country spreading hatred spreading violence this is a completely political action okay um and the aim of the action is to spread the message across india that the hatred and the violence that the bjp is spreading are weakening the country they are anti national activities and it is not indian culture indian culture is harmonious peaceful affectionate that is the idea behind the yatra and it is a 100% political message so yeah, ravikan no supplementary please sir, please no supplementary point, please sir. ravikan please you so can walk with point no ravikan yeah, yeah, no i'll answer please. the final yes, sir, point yeah, don't my final point is no, please, how do ravikan, i see myself ravikan, he is willing to answer can break rules he is willing please, to answer please we have to run according to rules the bharat jodo yatra is running according to Say rules surely a press Say conference can run according to rules roshan ali roshan ali roshan ali Uh, sir uh right now uh, i am involved in this yatra and right now my focus is very clear my job right now is to walk from kanyakumari to kashmir and to listen to every single person who comes to me and wants to be heard and to make every single person who comes to me regardless of religion regardless of community regardless of how rich or poor he is comfortable when they are walking in that yatra that is the only thing i am seeing right now once we arrive in srinagar which we will then you are welcome to come to a press conference and ask me the question how do i see myself after the yatra sorry ravikant i can only regulate questions i can't regulate answers roshan ali uh, sir i am uh, roshan ali from the times of india so uh, do you think that this uh, huge response you are getting during the yatra will translate into votes uh my job as i have said is to carry out this yatra from kanyakumari to uh, srinagar kashmir these questions i know you don't ask them uh maliciously but these questions are designed to distract from the core idea of the yatra they are designed to take the attention of people somewhere else right the lakhs of people who are coming in the yatra they are demonstrating what being indian means they are demonstrating that being indian means respecting other indian people being indian means being affectionate being loving to other indian people and this is a extremely powerful thing and it is it is a it's a very humbling thing for me to see how wise the indian people are i cannot even explain to you how humbling it is humbling it is for me asim shout out shout out so this is asim kamal for pti uh, so you at the udaipur chintan shivir you had said that uh, the congress's connection with the people has been broken now you walked 1400 kilometers uh, how far have you succeeded in reestablishing that connect and uh, your is your focus more on reestablishing that connect going forward than on short term uh, electoral gains so i i 
I said the connect of the Congress party with the people has weakened. The connect of the Congress party with the people has not broken in any way. But it had weakened. Uh, this is a good first step in connecting with the people. Uh, it is not a magic wand, but it's a good step. The Congress party is an idea. It stands for a certain vision of India. It stands for a certain perspective of where the country should go. If the Congress party defends that perspective, and if it fights for that perspective, it will naturally connect with the people of India. And I think that, so this is a, this is a good first step. Uh, but I think there is a lot of work that has to be done. Thank you. I'll, the last question, the lady, she represents a digital news platform, which is a new emerging technology. So I Hello. want to give her that chance. Yeah. Yes. Hello, I'm Kaniza Garari. I'm from Newsmeter website. I want to know what, how, as you explained, it has been a humbling experience for you meeting people from different uh, genres. I want you to uh, tell us whatever damage the BJP has done, how are you all going to reverse it in the long run? So what is it that is going to be done in terms of reversal after the Bharat Jodo Yatra also? One way of looking at the BJP is that it is a political organization. That's a rather superficial way of looking at the BJP. BJP is actually an emotion. It is an emotion which is very strong in the leadership of the RSS and in the leadership of the BJP. And that emotion at a superficial level is hatred. They preach the idea of hatred. But if you scratch a little bit, and I have read people like Savarkar, Gowalkar, if you scratch a little bit, it is actually not hatred. It is actually fear. Right? They are actually scared. And from that fear comes hatred. Congress party is also an emotion, as taught to us by Gandhiji. It is the opposite of fear. What is the opposite of fear? Is the confrontation of your own fear. The moment the Congress party starts to spread this idea of confront your fear, don't be a coward, because hatred is cowardice naturally the BJP will start to collapse. Right? Of course there is an element of institutional capture which they have done, which the united opposition will reverse. And I also feel, and it's important that people who have played a role in this, institutional capture. They realize that you cannot get away with this scot-free. That there is a cost involved in capturing the institutions of this country and trying to destroy the institutions of this country and you will pay that price. Thank you, Rahulji. One second, please. One second. No, no, no. It's done. It's Please. We have no, we have covered. We have covered 16 questions in 40 minutes. We have covered 16. Sola log no saval puche hain. Telugu, Urdu, Angrezi, Hindi. Sabko moka nahi mil sakta hai. Ab chaliye. चलते चलते आप पूछते रहिए और भी प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस होंगे आप चलते रहिए और महाराष्ट्र में पूछिए मध्य प्रदेश में पूछिए सॉरी आई जस्ट वांट टू अनाउंस द टुमारो रिलैक्स 12:45 नेक्स्ट प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस विल गिव यू 
वो नाउ आई एम मेकिंग अ कमिटमेंट आई इज मेकिंग इट विल बी देर कल 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 पौने एक बजे श्री मल्लिकार्जुन खड़गे नए कांग्रेस अध्यक्ष हैदराबाद पहुंचेंगे और कल शाम को खड़गे जी राहुल जी के साथ भारत जोड़ो यात्रा में चलते रहेंगे कितने एक घंटे चलेंगे दो घंटे चलेंगे मुझे वो जानकारी नहीं है पर कल शाम को चार बजे खड़गे जी राहुल जी के साथ भारत जोड़ो यात्रा में भाग लेंगे अब राहुल जी आपके साथ एक फोटो खिंचाएंगे 